Today I'm going to show you how to possibly use extruded aluminum in your builds. Now, you guys know we normally use our connectors with regular EMT conduit. It's a great building material, mainly because of its value, right? It's relatively strong, pretty inexpensive. And our connectors, if you haven't seen them before, just clamp around it. They go together with a nut and bolt and you can build all kinds of structures. Well, extruded aluminum in these profiles is a really great building material too. It's used a lot in industry, a lot of machine building, or if you have to be really technically, uh, you have to build something that is, you know, really precise, you might use extruded aluminum. And extruded aluminum comes in all different sizes and it's been around for a while and it's a great building material. Um, but it is very costly per linear foot. You know, if you build a big structure, your cost is really going to go up using extruded aluminum. Um, first, I think that's where conduit really comes into its own, because if you do a big structure, uh, conduit's pretty cheap per linear foot, and it's a great building material too. But what if we married the two? What if you were able to use extruded aluminum when you needed that precision, and then electrical conduit, when you just needed a pretty good rigid structure, right? What if we were able to marry the two? And that's been something that's been on my mind. I've been thinking about it for years now, uh, and I'm finally getting a couple ideas together that I want to run by you guys and get your opinion on it. So what we set out to do was, this is 80, no, I'm sorry, this is 20 by 20 extruded aluminum. Pretty common, you can find them all different places. Um, 8020 is a brand name uh, that makes these, but you can go on Amazon and get uh, these extruded aluminum profiles. And what I noticed was the diameter was pretty close to our one inch EMT conduit connectors. And I thought, you know, being one that 3D prints something, what if we made a 3D printed shim that allows us to adapt the two? And I'm, I'm going to share this file, this, and this is just our first revision, but I want to get the community's input on this. But I'm going to share this um, on Thingiverse on a, under a Creative Commons license, and I want to get your thoughts on it. Uh, but basically how it works is you take your extruded aluminum, you put these four shims into each side, like that. And I'm working, I want kind of an interference fit possibly, because they do move around a little bit. But basically it takes your square profile and then turns it into a round profile, um, which then allows the connectors to just grab onto, just like it was a piece of EMT conduit, uh, but you have that extruded aluminum. You can rotate it and orient it uh, just in the position that you're looking for. Of course, you're going to have to do that on the end or the other um, side, the other connection points of the extruded aluminum. And if you notice, these just barely fit. It's, um, it's really kind of serendipitous that the way they fit like that. Because in a couple previous ideas, we were thinking we might have to machine down to create a edge, but between the one inch connectors and the 20 by 20 profile, it fits just great. So check that out, you put that in. Uh, again, you can rotate the extruded aluminum and then tighten it down. Uh, it goes with, put a nut and bolt in there. And then, you know, tighten the connector down and you've got a connection. Now, if you want to go from extruded aluminum to the rest of your build, whether it be, this is one inch EMT conduit, but you could use our shims to adapt down to three quarter inch conduit, um, and then continue on with the rest of your build with a more affordable uh, way to create the structure. And you can see it kind of slides around a little bit, and that's what I was talking about, that the friction fit would be super helpful but just tighten it down, grabs on to the electrical conduit on this end, the extruded aluminum, 
and then you've got a structure where you've incorporated a really good engineering material into an inexpensive larger structure. Now, what could be the benefits of this? I think there are a ton. Extruded aluminum is really good at building precise um, kind of structures or machines. You see it a lot in industry. There's a lot of motion, so like um, CNC machines or linear motion. You have these plates that allow uh, wheels to ride inside of these channels. So if you were going to do some sort of linear motion, maybe you're going to do an extended drawer or even a motorized axis. You know, you see those in CNC machines, but imagine you were going to have a belt system with a, a, a plate with some wheels on it. You could do linear motion in that way as well. Another great thing that it does is it really it creates, it creates a channel and you see this a lot in extruded aluminum builds where you can actually place a panel inside of the extruded aluminum to panel out you know, a section. And I think that's one of the downsides. It's a little bit difficult to marry a round tube with a flat piece. We've come up with some, and the community has come up with some interesting ways to do that. But I could really see if you're using a, this extruded aluminum, it'd be an easy way to marry it with flat material. Plus, the outside of it is flat, so you can you know, mount it to the outside as well. So a lot of different possibilities here. Those are only a couple. I want to hear what your ideas are. Do you think this is useful? Should we pursue this idea? Um, what might you use this for? Would this be helpful in your builds? I uh, definitely want to hear that. So comment down below, get in touch with us, because it's just very much an idea that we're throwing out there, and we want to hear the community's feedback. So. Again, I'm going to link this design uh, on Thingiverse with a Creative Commons license so you can 3D print these yourselves. Uh, give it a try and then let us know what you think. Do you think it's helpful in builds? Is it something that you'd be using? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.